Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I am actually gonna do my first shop my stash slash everyday makeup drawer. So this is what I had from December 15th through January. Well, it's the 14th today, technically, but it's gonna be the 15th tomorrow and I'm not doing any makeup today. So I am gonna do my everyday makeup drawers slash shop my stashes on the 15th of the month instead of the first of the month. I have a lot of other videos that I do at the beginning of the month that I don't want to do this one as well. And also I like to mix up my makeup throughout the month. So I figured the 15th of the month would make me happy. It would be a good like middle point to when I can switch my makeup up. So today is the 14th and I plan on doing the uh, makeup shop my stash on the 14th and then I will post the video on the 15th. So you guys are probably seeing this on the 15th obviously anyway so I want to show you guys what I have in there right now tell you what I'm taking out tell you what I'm putting in and why so let's do that so I put three palettes in over here mine don't mind my hoodie I'm freezing right now so I have the Tartlet Toasted palette. I use this a ton. I put in my Lorac Pro palette, the original, because I haven't used it much lately and I was feeling like it was getting a little neglected. So I did use it quite a few times. And then I put the Carly Bible palette in there because this is the original one from BH Cosmetics, not the big thick one. Um, I put this one in there because I wasn't sure if I still liked it, if I wanted to use it. Um, you know, I just wanted to use it again and remind myself why I kept it, basically. So I do like this. I'm definitely keeping it, but I am going to put all of these back in my stash. Then this is the sponge that I've been using. It's pretty dirty, actually, but this one's from e.l.f. It's like the pink one. Love this one. It's so good. It is pretty dense, but I appreciate the denseness because when it expands, it's so soft and gentle on the face. I really, really like this one. These were the lip products that I had put in for the month. This is Maybelline Gone Grage. I loved this. I only used it like once, maybe twice, but I really do enjoy this lipstick. I did not use this one at all, this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Bash. I did not use this one, unfortunately. I did use these two. This one is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Lip Gloss, Oil Lip Gloss, sorry. This one's in Papa Don't Peach. I really do like this one. And then this one is the Ultra Glossy Lip from the Kathleen Lights Collection in Moonchild. I did use this one as well. Um, I think I'm going to take these three out though and use something different. Also, I have Cookie in here and I think I'm going to keep Cookie in here from ColourPop. Then I have the Jouer, oh, what is this called? Lip Cream in Rose Gold. I'm gonna take this one out. I did wear that one. And I wore this one a couple times at work. This one's the Buxom Lip, what is it? Full On Lip Cream? Nope, Full On Lip Polish in Emma. I'm gonna keep that one in my drawer as well. So three lip products are staying and four I am gonna switch out. Then I have, these are just like my bigger products. I have my Brow Gal um, Eyebrow Shadow, I guess it's called. Um, it's just like a powder shadow. I love this, keeping this in my drawer. And that is with my eyebrow pencil from the Brow Gal as well. So I'm gonna keep that in there. I am gonna take out my Hoola Bronzer. I just wanted to use it again and see if I still liked it. And I do, so I'm gonna put this one back in my stash. This is my absolute favorite um, foundation right now. I love it. When I wear liquid foundation, it's usually this one. This is the Essence Pure Nude Makeup Natural Finish No Makeup Feel in 10 Pure Beige. I love this one. It's probably on its last leg because I use it that frequently. And I don't use liquid foundations. You guys know that. But anyways, I love this one. So this one's going to stay. Then I have my Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer. This is in the shade 20M. This is the best bronzer ever. This one's gonna stay. I am gonna take out my IBY Beauty Highlight and Contour Palette. I did use this quite a bit. I don't really typically use the highlight shades, but I mix all three of these contour shades together to give me my perfect contour color. 
I love this palette and I just wanted to get some more use out of it and I did so I'm gonna take this one out. Another thing I'm gonna take out of my drawer for now is this blush by Tarte. This is the new um, Blush Bazaar from this past year, 2017, and I love this. Sorry, I'm totally blinding you, but this is my favorite shade in here. It's right here and it's called Skillful. This is literally my everyday perfect, perfect shade. I did like this one as well. This one is Angelic, but Skillful was my absolute favorite out of this palette. Definitely keeping this in my stash. Then I have a primer I was using. I repurchased this after I finished it in my Project Pan last year. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. I have two in my Project Pans right now, so I'm gonna take this one out. And I have this glowy primer from NYX. It is the Born to Glow, and it definitely gives your skin a glowy finish. I like to pair this with this. So I'm gonna keep this in my drawer. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna switch this out for a different primer, for a different glowy primer. Then I have this Cream Elf um, eyeliner, and I didn't really use this much. Honestly, I don't wear eyeliner very often, so I'm just gonna take this out and put it in my drawer. Then I have two lip pencils that I also did not use. I had a nude and a red. I'm gonna take these out. Then I had a liquid eyeliner, which I did use, and a waterline eyeliner, which I did not use, so um, I'm going to take these both out. Then I'm going to actually keep this one in. This is by Thrive Cosmetics and it is in the shade Stella. It's like an eye brightener. I just use this for my inner corner, honestly. It's so pretty and it's so easy and quick to use. In my ColourPop um, girly shadow is getting super dried out, so I'm going to keep this in my drawer. I'm going to go grab some stuff from my stash and shop my stash and show you guys what I end up picking and yeah, we'll have some fun. Okay guys, so I think I'm ready. <laughs> um, it took me a, like a hot minute, but I think I, I think I'm ready. Okay. So I picked two powders. This is the Tarte um, Confidence Creamy, Creamy Powder Foundation in Light Neutral. I'm getting like really a good dip in there and I've been really loving using this just for everyday use. Um, it's literally like probably one of my favorite or probably my favorite pressed powder foundation. So I'm gonna put that one in my drawer and then I have the Sexy Mama by The Balm. This is just a setting powder for when I use my liquid foundation. So I'm gonna put that in there as well. Then I decided to grab another liquid foundation. This was from my Project Pan last year. And since I decided not to get a glowy primer, I decided I'd get a glowy foundation. So I'm gonna put that in my drawer. And then I picked out a, well, two setting sprays. Oops, sorry. Oh my God, that literally almost fell over. Okay, we're good, we're solid. Okay, so I picked out the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This one's so close to being done. There's like nothing left in there. So I'm gonna put that in my drawer and I'm also gonna put this Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. This is like a little sample, like deluxe size sample size. And yeah, I think this will be perfect because I didn't pick out a glowy primer. I only picked out one palette for the month. This is the Lorac Unzipped so Ocean Sunset Palette. And this is such a beautiful palette. I did do a review on this on my channel. I can link that below if you guys are interested. But I'm gonna put this one in there and I have two other palettes that are in my project pans in my other drawer. These are the two other palettes I have. This is Real Her um, Two Shadow Palette Sh Show Me Your Squats. This is all neutrals. So I didn't want another neutral palette and this is the Urban Decay Vice um, Limited Reloaded palette and I'm panning this color here and this color here. So, and I'm obviously just using this palette in general. So I have a colorful palette, I have a neutral palette and then I have a really good um, accent palette. So I figured that would be perfect combination for this month. For highlighters, I actually picked four. Is that crazy? What's wrong with me? So this is a sample of the Urban Decay Sin. You guys know I have a sample project pan going on right now. So I'm trying to use this up. Oh my God. You can hear my husband and my son in the background. I am so sorry. Anyways, this is the Ulta Illuminating Powder. I really like this for setting my under eye and just kind of getting my highlighter going. This is a beautiful illuminating powder. And then I have the ColourPop 
Pressed Highlighter, and this is in the shade Here Kitty Kitty, and I just thought this one would be fun, and especially because I haven't really used it, so I want to try to get some use out of that. And then the final thing, this one's kind of more on my chopping block. I really want to test this out and see if I like it. And this is the um, Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter. It's supposed to be like a really natural, neutral highlighter. And I've kind of been into that lately. So I'm going to test this out and see if I like it. Then I only chose one bronzer. This is the sample of the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. This is the matte one. And I'm really excited to use this. I have been using it quite a bit lately, as you can see. Um, but I've really been enjoying this as my bronzer. And I have this one as well. This one I'm actually going to use as my contour because it's too dark for me right now. And I'm going to use this as my bronzer. So I'm going to use these kind of in tandem. And I also have a bronzer in my project pan as well. So this is the bronzer that I have. So I plan on kind of mixing this in when I can. Then I decided to put in three blushes. These two were from my project pan last year. You guys can check that out, but they're almost done and I want to use them up. And then this is the MAC Nutcracker collection from two years ago and or two Christmases ago. And it has a highlighter and a blush in here. I do enjoy using both of them. So, you know, if I use the highlighter, cool. If not, then that's fine too. But yeah, I plan on using all three of these. Hopefully I'll get these used up, but I plan on using this. I also have a blush in my project pan. This is the Makeup Geek Infatuation Blush, and I do enjoy that, so I'm gonna have that to use as well. Then I picked out six new lip products for this month. This is the Too Faced um, Lip Injection in the Glossy Formula in Milkshake. So that's just like a regular glossy formula. Then I have this one from Touch and Soul Metallic Lipstick. I haven't used this. It came in a Sephora Favorites a uh, little con like, you know, combo last year, last Christmas. So I'm going to try this. Then I have this um, Wet n Wild Mega Last Lip Color in the shade Bear It All. Andrea Matiliano talks about this color all the time. Oops, I totally threw the cap. And she loves it. It's a little bit light on my skin tone, I think. But I'm going to try it a little bit more and make a good decision on it. Then I have this NYX Whipped... Uh, foray. I don't know what that is, but it's in cocoa bean and it's just like a whipped liquid lipstick. I don't know. I haven't really given it a good test and tried it out. So I'm going to try it out this month and see what I feel about it. Then I have this Tarte Tardiest Lip Paint in the shade Birthday Suit. Um, either people love this or they hate this, honestly, is what I've been noticing and I haven't tried it. So I figured I would give it a go. And then finally, I have my nude sticks in the shade Mystic. I love these nude sticks. They are literally one of my favorite lip colors. It's like a, the lip and cheek color, but I only use these for lip colors. I love them. A lot of neutral colors this month just because it's January and I'm working a lot in January. So I don't plan on using any crazy colors. And if I want to, then I have some in my drawer to use. Now, as far as eyeliners go, I picked out three. One black one from Hakari. I really love this formula. I think I got it in a Ipsy and I literally, this is one of my favorite black eyeliner formulas. So good. So I'm going to put that in there. Then I picked out a Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. And this is in the shade Striking Copper. It's such a beautiful, like literally, literally copper color. But I think this will pair good with a neutral eye look that I can wear to work. And then I have this last one, this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Dirty Talk. And it's just like a gold like a simple gold, easy to wear eyeliner. And I think this will be easy. Same thing for neutral eye looks or for a colorful eye look. So those are the only eyeliners I'm gonna have in there. Like I said, I don't really wear eyeliner very often, but on the off chance that I want it, I have it in there. Then I'm gonna put in three mascaras. This is the Lancome Excessive Black Hypnostrama Mascara. Um, I love this mascara, but it's definitely on its last leg. It's getting pretty crispy on my lips after a couple hours, so I'm gonna use this up this month. And then I have my Great Lash by Maybelline in Very Black. This one's also on its last leg, so I'm gonna use this up. 
And once I get those two used up, I want to use up the Super Sizer Mascara by CoverGirl. This was, all three of these were actually in my project pan last year. I know you're not supposed to have mascaras after three months of usage, but they're not bugging my eyes at all, so I'm fine with using them. And I want to use them up. I'm going to have all three of these used up hopefully by the end of the not the month, but the end of my little section. So hopefully by the 15th of next month, I'll have all of these used up. Okay guys, so that is a final look at my everyday makeup drawer slash shop my stash. If you guys will actually want to watch me like physically go into my Alex dresser, which is right next to me, and look for things and pick out things and tell you why I'm picking them out as I go, let me know. But I did change my mind on a couple of products here before I put them in the drawer and showed you. So just let me know if that's something that you'd rather have than me just showing you what I picked and why. And I will let you guys know a review on some of these, especially like some of these highlighters that I'm not sure about, and um, see if I actually use my liquid foundations that I have in here but yeah let me know if you guys like the format of this video and give it a thumbs up if you like shop my stashes or everyday makeup drawers and I will see you guys in the next one thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you later bye